The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Howdy folks, it's Cato again, and I've decided to do a follow-up video, a part two, to my Kingdom vs. Beast Wars figure review, or overview rather. And it was a video that I did some time ago that basically took the... Uh, original Beast Wars figures that I had borrowed from Bacon from tformers.com uh, and I really need to get these back to him and the upcoming Kingdom Beast Wars figures. Now I won't be looking at the non-Beast related figures. I won't be looking at uh, the, the Paleo Treks. I won't be looking at uh, Cyclonus or Warpath. This is strictly going to be Beast comparisons from Beast Wars Wave 1 and I think two or three, I can't remember, and uh, the Wave 1 Beast figures from Kingdom. And I, I wanted to say that there are a lot of comments on there. I get comments every single day of mistakes I made in that video, and I appreciate that. I understand why you do it. I wasn't familiar with the Beast Wars figures, and I, I admitted that early on when I did that video. So I'll make some corrections in this one and hopefully uh, make a few people happier. We're going to start by taking a look at some of the smaller figures first. I'm going to roll the intro first, then we'll get started uh, comparing this original Beast Wars characters to their more modern updates. It's Kato! Let's start by taking a look at Rat Trap. Now, Beast Wars original Rat Trap, let's get this little one out of the way here, is what you expect out of Beast Wars Rat Trap at the time. It was not very tune accurate. It simply is a transforming rat. About the most tune accurate thing you'll get is his head sculpt in there, which is pretty close to what they used in the animated series. Not a lot of articulation. You can move the tail up and down. Uh, the feet can go side to side, but other than that, not a lot to it and not a lot of resemblance to the original character. You can see the brown and gray on the skin or fur there, but it was great for the time. And again, I didn't know much about these when I first started getting into it, but thankfully Kingdom has uh, kind of ignited a fan uh, in me for... Uh, Beast Wars. Now in this one, the Beast Mode still isn't very accurate to the tune, uh, but it is a much more realistic version of a little rat. You've got the white little reflective spot there in his black eyes. The fur molding is a little more detailed than on the original. Uh, it definitely looks more rat-like. Articulation-wise, you still don't get a whole lot. His tail won't move much. His feet will move a little, but as soon as you do, transformation starts to break up a little bit. Um, the head doesn't move and the front legs don't really move, but definitely a better beast form or a more realistic beast form. So taking a look at these together, you can see the difference that quite a few years make in that beast form. In their robot modes, the original Beast Wars Rat Trap still vaguely resembles what you would get out of the uh, cartoon. I do like the weapon storage back here in this uh, back area here. The head sculpt, again, resembles enough of the character to get the point across, that huge rat head, uh, brown plastic. Again, not truly representing that uh, animated figure, while the Kingdom figure is much more of a anatomically correct, I guess, proportioned uh, figure. The rat head goes in better, but you can see a lot of the similarities. Of course, you get a lighter plastic here. Some of the lines here and here are enough of a representation of old to new. Definitely more of a tune accurate head sculpt. I'm really interested to see how these uh, figures and characters show up in Kingdom in the next uh, part of the trilogy. This, the Kingdom figure, definitely stands better. I'm having to use the rat tail on the older figure to actually hold him up so he doesn't look like he's fully transformed, but I assure you he is. Overall, you can see where we were and where we are now, and I really dig the robot mode of the more recent Kingdom rat trap. The red eyes, red mouth, 
you can see the brain there uh, I'm, I'm calling it a brain that it looks like on the top it all looks really good and i think they did a really fantastic job updating something that folks know and love from the past to the modern next up we'll take a look at cheetor in his beast mode and of course you've got the old uh, beast wars from 1996 here and the modern kingdom update here this actually is a really good looking figure it not a lot of articulation you can move the legs around a bit and the tail uh, a, a tad the head not at all I love the spots and again even though it doesn't really give you a good representation of the character that was in the cartoon still it was a fun toy the gimmicks I love the gimmicks in the old line, the, the water guns, the tail gun here, and we'll talk more about that once we transform them. But this one is the green eyed version where we can see this has the orange eyes, definitely more realistic spots and stripes on the face, a more realistic cheetah look here. And articulation is much better with the articulation here, here, and here, 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 and here. Um, the tail missed opportunity on articulation there and some missed opportunities in articulation on the head sculpt although uh, you got this uh, mouth articulation here which i do think is very cool so all in all a great update from previous to now i do really like the look of kingdom cheetor in his beast mode i think they did a really fine job now the original Beast Wars Cheetor, and, and this was a big point of contention in my previous video. Again, I was not, I admittedly was not well educated on the old Beast Wars figures and I had no instruction, so I had to kind of wing it. So in my previous video, I mistransformed Cheetor and believe me, you guys more than let me know. You know, sometimes it only takes one person to comment before the reviewer gets the point. Not everybody has to say the same thing, just saying. But I had the legs turned around backwards because, quite honestly, I think that didn't look right naturally to me. But hopefully, I've got it right now. If I don't, it's fine. You don't have to let me know. Just move on. The um, original Cheetor here, big bulky head up front, dark blue colors on the shoulders and the head. Of course, you have the gimmick of the battle mask here that they really didn't reuse. You've got gold on the arms dark blue down the legs and gold on the toes now again big bulky head there on the the newer kingdom figure and i know that we're getting a netflix version that's going to update the colors here to make them a lot darker i knew people were going to want that uh, as soon as i crack this guy open so hopefully we're going to be getting that you can see the predacon logo there or i'm sorry maximal logo huh, don't hit me bro um the regular yellow colored feet i know that folks are going to want to match these colors up a lot better still the kingdom is a fantastic update a little slender not my favorite of the beast era kingdom figures but still really good and a lot of great articulation in uh robot mode again the orange eyes here i think this is a better closer representation to what we've seen on screen and i'm sure it will be a closer representation to what we get inside kingdom uh, missed opportunities on the update um, of course we know that with original cheetor the gun tail here is tucked in which we do get a tail weapon with the update it's just this weird battle axe thing that i don't really like at all uh, but also a really big missed opportunity was just just the a, a gun I would have I would have rather the tail here do some sort of articulation and transformation into an actual uh, gun weapon than this just random axe because he definitely needs a gun at least somewhat reminiscent to here so I think we're gonna have to rely on third-party folks to make something to, to fill that need but overall still a very good representation of a modern Cheetor and you can see where we were and where we are now next up we'll take a look at black arachnia and again this was a big point of contention in the previous video and i wanted to clarify when i first got this from bacon at tformers.com uh, i said wait isn't this tarantulas and over and over again we kind of went back and forth in conversation over a live chat for a while indeed 
This is the original black arachnia that came in Beast Wars back in 96. Now, yes, Tarantulas uses the same mold, but it is a different color scheme. It has a lot more purple on it, but the gold and everything, this was the original black arachnia. We didn't get a more accurate black arachnia until much later in the line. So to all those that commented on the previous video that this is Tarantulas, not black arachnia, and that I don't know what I'm talking about, listen, I didn't know what I was talking about. I'm with you, but I was educated by someone who really did know what they were talking about. This is black arachnia. It is not tarantulas. There, can we move on? All right, so in the original black arachnia, you've got what became pretty common, her gold legs, gold and green, red, black color scheme with a little bit of purple there. And you've got the updated spider from Kingdom, uh, much more Black Widow-like. Um, can still see the Black Widow type uh, symbol there on her back. Very good looking figure. I really do like the Kingdom update. Uh, I think it looks creepy and cool and the transformation I think is loads of fun. There was some QC issues with the breastplate not wanting to plug into the body or that tab broke. But you can see a huge difference, almost uh, no correspondence at all from the original Black Arachnia to the more current uh, insect or spider arachnid version of black arachnia. Now, as we move into robot mode, obviously a huge gap of difference, much more tune accurate. Again, we got a more tune accurate version of Beast Wars black arachnia later on, uh, but originally she was a mold, uh, she was a mold mate and shared the mold with tarantulas just with uh, a bit of recolor there. Um, again, no battle mask. I know that some early versions of this black arachnia showed that there could be a battle mask. There's not. Uh, this one, you just rotate the mask down. You've got the gold here, green, purple, gold arms there. This, that is one thing that is less accurate. Rather than the typical gold spider legs, we have the black legs on kingdom black arachnia, but I think it works. It works for something a little more realistic. You couldn't get much more different here. This is definitely more tune accurate, but this is the original toy. What can you do? That's just how it was. A nice update uh, from old to new. Original Black Arachnia toy to War for Cybertron Kingdom Black Arachnia. Moving on to the larger figures, of course, we've got original Beast Wars Optimus Primal with Kingdom Optimus Primal. Massive size difference. This is a much larger figure, a much more gimmick filled figure with the guns that pop out of the back, the um, mace or whatever you want to call that flail that is tucked into the arm and overall the gimmicks in this make this a much more fun figure the ability to have the lever on the back that beats his chest I think that's a great little gimmick and this is one case where this toy is actually a little more accurate to the tune the original tune than this is this is a much more realistic beast mode with that awesome gorilla face I love this head sculpt in uh, the modern Optimus Primal. I think it is beautiful. The fur detail is you know, a lot more muted and dulled down to make it look more realistic than the shiny plastic they used back in the day. Uh, overall, this was a much more fun figure with all the gimmicks uh, than this, but they did uh, manage to do a few little updates to the gimmicks like the uh, missiles in the arms here that I think is a nice little throwback to the gimmicks of the old and the ability to store the swords back here as um, as you kind of do in the older model. But from where we were to where we are, I think it's a great update. Transformation is very similar between the two. This is a very tune accurate transformation. Uh, some things I don't like, the butt flap and the, the front butt and tra transformation isn't fantastic, but, um, and this doesn't really tab in, but that's okay because it allows you more articulation. Much more articulated figure, uh, overall with the opening and closing hands, the elbows, the shoulder joints, leg joints back here, and the toes, where this is just a much more static figure, but still more articulation than you're used to getting in some of these older figures. Overall, a great update from old beast mode to current. Now in the robot modes, uh, traditional Beast Wars Optimus Primal roughly resembles the Toon model in color and stature, and you get the idea, of course, the head sculpt being the more traditional Optimus Prime head sculpt as opposed to the more accurate uh, mouth 
and humanoid face of the actual tune and the kingdom model. But overall, you can see the color Nas, the red, white, and blue, pretty synonymous with Optimus Prime. And the battle mask here, uh, obviously not being used on the current model. But uh, gimmick wise, again, you've got the missile pods, the, the flail in the chest. The, this, this is a much more accurate, or at least ideally in your head, accurate uh, chest plate. But you can see the resemblance there. And overall, you can obviously see that they haven't changed too much. It just kind of evolved into a more fluid, accurate type figure. And I keep saying accurate to Beast Wars. Not that these have to be accurate to Beast Wars. They just have to be accurate to Kingdom that's coming out, which we haven't seen in motion yet. But still a nice nod to the classic. Uh, you can see I've got his missile or his uh, weapons here on his shoulder, which is a throwback to this gimmick right here. Oh, God. Of the missile launchers uh, on his shoulder. So that's a nice little throwback, and the weapons are similar enough to get the point across. So they carry over a few things from the old to the new that really make a difference to fans. And I think it shows fantastic figure. The gimmick of the beating his chest and all that stuff with the lever on the back is nice. And they even give you a little bit of a butterfly here so that you can sort of recreate that, albeit not mechanical. It's more posability than anything else. The missile pies that come out of the arms are a nice touch. Overall, um, I do wish this one was about this size, but scale, they're, they're big on scale right now, and I'm okay with that. Blue feet, white feet, the red pistons are there, red knees, white thighs uh, going up to the chest. A lot, of the same, a lot of great nods from the old to the new, and a very good update. Both are exceptionally fun figures. And finally, my favorite figure in both old and new lines. You've got original Beast Wars Megatron and Kingdom Megatron. This was a fantastic toy back in the day. I never had it. This is when Bacon let me borrow these. It was the first time I had a chance to actually play with it in the hand. This is a lot of fun figure. The gimmick of the water gun in the mouth, the launching uh, projectiles here from his thighs. Fantastic figure, a lot of fun. Not a lot of articulation, but that's not a surprise for back in the day. Uh, the transformation between the two is really similar. I mean, it's they really just took the idea of this and updated it to here. The new version, obviously a much more realistic uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex mode. Um, I love this figure. The molding inside, everything. The little soft rubbery coating over the plastic is wonderful, although I don't know how that's going to age. But much more purple, much more Barney the Dinosaur purple here. Then here, this is more of a grayish purple. You got the orangish eyes and the little deeper red here, the teeth. Everything on both of these is, is really fun. It's just a great, great update to such a classic figure. And I think, I said it before in my uh, Megatron review for Kingdom, David K would be proud to have such a great representation of a character that he brought to life. Articulation-wise, it's not even close. You do have some knee articulation here, and you can wag the hands around a bit. The mouth will open and close because of the gimmick. On the updated Megatron, of course, you get more motion in the head and the mouth. The hands are on a ball joint. The legs are much more articulated, and the tail is more articulated as well. Awesome toys, uh, both on both ends. This is a great old toy and a wonderful new update. I absolutely love this figure and I hope everyone that wants one can get their hands on it. Another thing I got a lot of comments about on the previous video was that I mistransformed Megatron. And again, I had no instructions or no familiarity with the transformation at all. So I made the fatal mistake of rotating the waist rather than just rotating the bottom of the legs. So the crotch area was backwards sue me it's fine you get the idea all right so we've got the original megatron here from beast wars still a good figure uh gimmick field i move these around just to get them out of the way if they are or are not in the right place i don't care but you've got uh the gimmick of the shooting uh, projectiles here from the hips and a lot of the transformation between the two is very similar like you still do that with the hip pods here uh you still rotate uh, the, the waist in a way. 
it, it's it's a very good updated transformation to the old uh, obviously much more detailed in the updated kingdom release again a lot less gimmicks um, i do wish that this actually was a parts warming piece and you could take that off and lay it aside but i guess you couldn't with this one either but you do get an actual fist in here love the i've always liked the idea of the t-rex head as an arm and a hand fantastic overall this was a fun figure uh back in the day as well i love the battle mask uh, you obviously don't get that here the face sculpt on the updated version is much more uh, what you would think would be on the the screen one of my favorite figures had i gotten this one earlier uh, or later in last year it probably would have easily been in my top 10 this is a absolute blast of a figure much more articulation and playability out of this one much more nostalgia and gimmick laden abilities in the old but you can absolutely see where we were and where we are and how this beautiful figure right here is a great descendant of this fun figure right there and i could see kids in the 90s having a blast with this old megatron so there you have it guys. I hope this update helped a lot. I know in the previous video I was stuck with using images of yet to be released figures. Now having all the figures in hand I could do a final follow up with actual figure to figure reviews. I hope this cleared up any questions or uh, mistakes I made in the previous video. Um, if anybody who watched the previous one watches this one, let me know in the comments. Hopefully I fixed all the mistakes. And if I didn't, say so kindly in the comments. No need to be a jerk online. Don't be that guy. I hope you appreciated the video. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you prefer old or new, or if you're happy with both. Personally, I'm happy with both. It's great to be a fan and have so many options. Please check out the other rejected cons in the links below. That started news by 82 Larkins, Lair, and Inu Tabi. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let me know how you feel in the comments. I appreciate every single one of you that have helped me make this channel grow, and I really can't uh, say that enough. All of you, those who watched the videos, liked, subscribed, shared, or didn't like the video, I just appreciate you spending your time uh, hanging out with me. It means a great deal, and I am extremely grateful for each and every one of you. Uh, until next time, you guys take it easy, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.